District 48 Senator Brian Hardin says there may be more work that needs to be done on a bill that would ultimately end property taxation by community colleges, but that won't happen in a vacuum. Hardin was asked for his thoughts on LB 783 during his first Roles and Issues event last week, sponsored by the Scottsdale Garing Chamber of Commerce. Chamber Director and WCCA Board Vice Chair Karen Anderson asked about the impact the bill would have on our community college and its ability to fund capital improvements, which Hardin said is a concern that needs to be addressed. Anytime there's change, it makes all of us twitch. Me too. And we also have the tension of how's that working for us. And I think it's it seems to be an attempt to help make everything work differently from the perspective that our whole tax package as a state is not very competitive. That's the that's selling it on the light side. Hardin noted there are probably more tax related measures this year than ever. And this measure is just one of the tax changes sought by the governor. He said there will be a lot of time spent this year on how any one change affects all other taxes. And so lawmakers can't look at any one bill in isolation from the rest.